Hi, today i like to talk about the Shugong V2 Pro, especially about the gimbal and the camera installed on the gimbal. Um, as you can see, uh, the camera is upside down and I will talk about the reason why I did it upside down. The gimbal itself is, is original. I tried a few things. I built carbon arms to, to get another position of the camera. But in the end, I had to build it back, and it's it's the, the gimbal itself is is uh, absolutely original. Uh, the plate for the for the camera is original. Everything is like you get it out of the box. Um, just this little part here, I cut it off, but you don't need it. It's, it's just I wanted it to. I don't didn't want to have it, but. Uh, it's uh, you can leave it. It doesn't matter. Um, what I did is, or the problem, what you have when you when you when you install the camera, I just have to take it off just for a moment. Put the cable off like this. When you install the camera, like uh, immersion RC. Uh, say it or likes to have it you can see you are with the lens of the camera you are far away from the center of the copter and this will mean that you uh, will have the front left propeller uh, a lot of time you have it uh, in your video picture and that's really uncool because you want a clean video picture no propellers inside no other parts of the copter uh, you just want to have a great video picture and nothing else and this position uh, is not helpful for this so you you just always film your, your left front propeller and that's not really fun so I tried the other position I just turned the GoPro upside down installed it like this what you have to to think about is that you have the connectors of the GoPro on this side so you have to plug the, the power and the video signal uh, this cable here um, goes out on the side where you have the motor of your gimbal so it's uh, really important to to think about this because it changes the position of your camera uh, I just show you like this and you can like as you can see the, the connector uh, says where it's finished to go closer to the center but you have two things which are better in this position you are almost not perfectly but almost in the center of the copter and your lens is also more uh, it's lower so once again uh, more away from the propellers as low as you as low when you go lower you are uh, far more away from the propellers so you have no picture no no, no propellers in the picture I use um, medium uh, angle for my videos and there's absolutely no propeller uh, I can fly like I want in, in, in um, a GPS mode or in attitude hold mode uh, both modes uh, no problem with propellers in pictures um, then I took out the battery of the GoPro because of the weight and added uh, around 8 grams of weight on this side of the GoPro just because like this you have it uh, have perfect balanced GoPro uh, no weight on one or the other side it just sits perfect in the middle and like this the gimbal works uh, perfect that's what I did and you have to think about that you don't you cannot use anymore the original uh, holder uh, for the camera you can use it but it's not really um, doesn't make sense because of the button uh, and, and the display you, 
it's it's not really cool to use uh, the original. So what I took is a simple solution, just a Velcro from a lion, and uh, this fits perfect to install the camera, to fit it, um, to fix it on the gimbal. And yeah, like this, I have cello free uh, videos, really good quality, and I'm happy with this solution. No propellers in the picture, just a video like you wanted. Yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.